on March 24th, 2013, Florida Gulf Coast became the first and only 15 seed in the NCAA men's basketball tournament to make it to the Sweet 16. Behind the moniker of Dunk City, and captivated the nation during the first weekend of the tournament. Here's the story behind this amazing underdog story. Today on Daily Sports History. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide to a rapid deep dive into sports history every day. We first need to start... Back in 1997, when Florida Gulf Coast started as a university, they were a young school, but they were right on the beach, which was a draw for many students. And in 2006, they started Division I men's basketball. And it only took them six years to have a chance to make history. In 2011, they hired Andy Enfield to be the head coach of their basketball team. He played basketball at John Hopkins and was an assistant coach for the Milwaukee Bucks, the Boston Celtics, and Florida State before taking this position. And he came in with confidence. During his first press conference with the team, he said, we're not waiting. We're going to get successful. And they started that first season, 15 and 17. Although the team was made up of mainly freshmen and sophomores with a combined eight on the team, but they gained valuable experience. And heading into the 2013 season, they were able to not only have a winning season, but finish second in the Atlantic Sun Conference and go on to beat the number one team in the conference, Mercer, in the Atlantic Sun Conference Championship, which gave them the automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. And on March 22nd, 2013, they faced off against Number two seed, Georgetown, who was led by future NBA player Otto Porter and coached by John Thompson III. And normally, when an underdog is able to beat one of the top seeds in the tournament, it's due to great shooting and great three-pointers. But that wasn't exactly how Florida Gulf Coast played. They had the moniker of Dunk City for being a fast-paced offense, which often ended in dunks. And that's how they did it. And they won. 78 to 68. Two days later, on March 24th, they came against San Diego State. Number seven in the region, led by legendary coach Steve Fisher. And though a quality team, they were not able to keep up with the fast pace that the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles were running and also lost by 10 points, 81 to 71. After this, they made national headlines for being the first 15 seed to ever make the Sweet 16, and also ruining everyone's brackets at the time. But sadly, they came up against a very strong opponent next. Florida University, led by head coach Billy Donovan, who had won two national championships previously, but they were able to use their high-powered defense to clamp down on Dunk City and defeat them by 12 points, ending in a final of 50-62. to The Cinderella story was over, but many of us will always remember Dunk City. And I always love the fact that after their first win, the school was searched so much online that it actually crashed the website. And they also won the ESPY for best upset that season. Just shows you how popular March Madness can be, and how fun and enjoyable upsets and cinderella stories are thank you for listening to today's daily sports history if you enjoyed this please come back for more if you enjoyed this please go tell a friend that you about all the sports history you're learning and that they should join you and come back tomorrow for more for more daily sports history